Good evening. From the wave of shootings to cops charged with crimes, APD has taken some serious image hits in part because of that. Chief Ray Schultz has been cracking down on bad conduct. And information obtained by News 13 shows internal affairs detectives looked at a lot of other cops last year. Here's Alex Tomlin. More than a thousand cops roamed Albuquerque streets in 2011. Another 500 civilians worked behind the scenes. Out of that staff, 218 employees were investigated by the department's internal affairs. And the chief says most of them were police officers. It can be anything from an officer not showing up to court or some type of case setting, not properly tagging evidence, being involved in an accident in which their officer is found to have violated the law. Or it could have been criminal, like in the case of April Sanchez, who keyed her ex's car after driving drunk to his house. Or Matt Kendall, who tried to bribe a hooker for sex. Almost all of the investigations last year led to discipline. Discipline's probably stricter now than it had been uh, many, many years ago. 51 workers were suspended, 11 fired, and 7 quit before they could be canned. Something that may shock you, though? 31 employees for APD, mostly officers, were investigated multiple times last year for their conduct. It could be the officer missed court two or three times, so the officer would be flagged as part of our earlier intervention system as having multiple cases. The discipline doesn't end with the chief. The cases are also sent to the Law Enforcement Academy Board in Santa Fe. Case in point, Dennis Barella, who was suspended for a week and demoted for playing a genitalia slapping game with other officers and for having sex while on duty. The state's LEA board didn't think the chief's punishment was tough enough and suspended him for four months. The chief says last year's numbers are normal, but... 218 employees investigated, 191 disciplined. Out of 600,000 almost calls, not bad. Is it great? It's not great either. Alex Tomlin, KRQE News 13. The chief says the number one complaint from the public about police officers is that they're mean or that they have a bad attitude. And attitude is now a bigger priority for recruits who are going through the police academy. Bernalino